morning, everybody. Well, we're ready to go get some cows in. Sid's set up, and uh, Arrow's here. Let's go. There's a rain that's coming, so let's see if we can beat it or we get caught in it. The girls are on their way out. There's just the last of them here, still in the paddock. The rain has started too, and you can see all the flies flying around. I don't like that rain. make sure they get the race bit last thing I want to do is let them have the uh, race bit and find out that the reel is just on that side of the vents there and they get the whole rest of the big paddock let's go and set up for tonight it's gonna to be a wet day so that'll save me coming down to do that and uh, set up the day paddock now pretty easy this way well, the paddock set up for today Goody. Still wandering down, and the size bales are right there. So, we've got one bale on the back now. The girls will probably come out and try to meet us when we uh, go to feed out to them. Not much rain so far, just a couple of drizzles. Here we are, we've made it, and the uh, rain's just starting to get a bit heavier. That was lucky. <laughs> we get getting close to the last row with the amount of cows out there, but. They're just not pushing up. <laughs> morning, Dad. Morning. How are we this morning? Good. 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 Still good. Okay, still going. Oh, yeah. Still going. Oh, yeah. Oh, everyone was watching. Push the cows up. You should see they're not in the biggest hurry. Come, Bindy Bop. Come, Bindy Bop. Go, right, girls. Last row headed out. There's our girl trying to dry herself off. Good girl. No point feeding her milk. It's just about drying herself off. We didn't even milk her. Haven't milked her in about two days, nearly. Come on, 12. Yes, you're walking fine, but we'll wait until after the rain. Wait until after the rain, and then you'll be sweet ass to walk back with the herd. Walking way better. Good job. After this rainy spell. Good, with good rain out there now. Woohoo! What we like to see. Time to wash the yard. Even though she's outside with holding period now, we're still going to leave her on the bucket. Just put an alkali through now. Dad's washing the yard. A little bit early. He wasn't meant to be here for another hour. That's right, we're all finished up anyways. I wonder what happens when you blow the can, all the water drops out. And all most of the jet is fall off. There we go. Most of the jetters fell off. Sweet. Well, if you get back to washing up, it's got the last of the sprint cycle to put. Hang out the jetters, that's where they go. So, when it overflows, it goes up that little pipe around there and down into there. Where then it pushes up this little ball, blocks off that hole, and then all the water just instantly stops suction. All the water drops out, as most of these fall off. The tank has been, we have 4,111 litres. Not too bad. Not it's going to be a bit of a wet rest of the day. We've changed over the rain diverter. As you can see there, all changed over. So I'll change it back over tonight. Oh, we'll see you later, Dad. Right. Catch you at milking tonight. Right, I'm going to go feed out. Well, we better shoot off to go and feed out. 
And did Bobo come down today? Is there some thunder around Bobo? Hey Bo. Good but must be some thunder around. And Arrow's even coming today, mainly because Bo's coming. This is why we put our bale here nice and close. Just about finished the first one, then nailing the second one already. We're gonna go and relax. Not much else I can do in this weather. So, uh, catch us all a milking tonight. This first part of the first bale. Must have been a yummy bit, eh? <laughs> Nailed it. Afternoon everybody, just headed down, go and check the, uh, go and wash the vat and check the rain gauge. Oh, we're raining okay. there. So we've got about 25 mils on the rain gauge. So we'll go down and wash the vat and uh, may go get some cows in, unless Dad's here in time. Dad, he said, uh, Carl, can you go get the cows in? It's raining. <laughs> ah, joy's a big bus. That's right, I did come down early to wash the vat anyways. So, we are ready to go. Let's go get some cows in. I'll just use the motorbike. Got my apron on so I don't get wet legs. And I'm just gonna go get my raincoat on. Okay, let's go find some cows. Ladies, how are we doing today? Ready for some meal? A couple of the heifers, they're facing the wrong way. They face away from the rain usually when they're in the paddock. Hey, they're uh, just waiting. Good girls. Off we go. Amazing how much surface flooding we've got in this paddock considering um, we've only had an inch. It shouldn't be affecting the swamp yet because just look at these drains. They're not that full. This paddock will, this paddock will be draining into the drain, but I'll get there. You guys see how the swamp looks, eh? in the shed. Dad just started cupping. Jeez, hard to get food by shit shop. Hard to get fellas that turn up on time. You might ask why cows up the cows because I pulled rats. That's right. There's milk. <laughs> hard to get good bushes. Oh, it says up for it. He still didn't check it. He didn't check it. company has come back to us and told us our highest semantic sow count cows they did. Yep. Our highest one was 8 million. Yep, that's not 8 million. This one. Which is the highest we've ever had. Yeah, and she's the never had mastitis. She's not hot or anything like that. Just have to check her. Dad's going to give her a check and we'll see how she feels. See how she looks. Good. Good. Well, I wouldn't know. Yeah, I wouldn't know. Well, it looks crook. Yeah, front, front left looks crook. Yeah, uh, found it in 
That's a Mass Tartus cow now. Treat her tonight. See it? That'll be why she's 8 million. First time with Mass Tartus too. Front left. Okay, and uh, next one was 4 mil, uh, 3 point, uh, 2 .9 million, sorry, was the next one. And she's just come off the bucket as a better sign gal. Well, last one. She'll be alright. Right. She'll be treated for best times. Now we'll sort her out. Now we'll sort her out. Come on. Right, it's away. Right. There you go, Dad. Go well. You've washed half the yard already. You've got um, three cows with the somatic over a million. But they're ones that have had mastitis before, and the somatics will stay high because they continue to get mastitis. I've had it more than three times a season and they'll be looking at going anyway. Come on, little ones, little heifer. They'll be going this season, the end of this season, those ones. Oh, all good. I'll carry on. on and uh, clean up crews on it. Good girl, good little heifer. She can eat that. If she poops, she's out. Right. Oh, you ready for your milk, Aaron? Yeah, be done. We're off to go and lock the cows away now. And uh, let's go and feed out too. Set up the paddock for tomorrow. Well. Up this way, we've got to go open up their paddock for tomorrow day. I grabbed a bale. Looks uh, a bit more like haylage rather than silage. And the same with another one over there. I must have grabbed them from either from too far this way, I reckon. But that's all right. That's all right. No, I did grab them from there, sorry. Grabbed them from that area. Probably should have grabbed them from over there. But yeah happens so i'll grab this bale out that's for tomorrow first bale and i'll put that bale that's over there he can go in this lot here for tomorrow day rather than carrying bale on the front all the way back to the yard we'll put him on top but we'll go and feed out first before we go set up our paddock and shift these bales around we'll put this bale on and pick up that bale and we'll go see the cow I think that's us for today. Um, just listen to the radio, there's a major thunderstorm up in Auckland, the Northland of New Zealand, so it'll be working its way down this way. We probably won't have a massive thunderstorm by then. So, well, that'll be us to see how the weather is in the morning. Like, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the morning. Thank you. Here we are, we're going to set up this paddock now. And just talking to mum and dad, and apparently their friends are up in, on holiday up Coromandel. And they've had over 100 mils since 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon. So, the rains are coming. It's a heavy rain. Good rain for summer. <laughs> get some mean grass growth. And we'll get absolutely excellent crop of maize here. Got another, got a couple of... Uh, and about a two months left of growing for that stuff still. Awesome. Right, we'll set up this paddock and we'll go and load up the last two bales. Arrow! Bale on. All set. I'll see you all in the morning. <laughs>